somewhere down the road, we have forgotten what our kupuna have practiced. We have forgotten what's important to sustain us as people. Our kuleana is to uplift our communities to their highest possible level, to thrive, to be healthy. Marcus has that vision of how we can improve the health of Native Hawaiians. And that's important because we have a lot of health disparities in the Native Hawaiian community. The Native Hawaiian population is foremost in health disease and cancer and diabetes. Looking back on the history of what happened to the Hawaiian population, it went from 800,000. 100 years later, it was down to 40,000. So that's a you know, precipitous decline. So it's the cultural trauma that happens generations ago that we understand and we feel now. The biggest cause of disparities is really the disconnect between culture and disconnect between lifestyle. Being Hawaiian was shunned upon. My tutu grew up telling me stories of getting hit by a ruler in school if he would speak his native tongue, Olelo Hawaii. If we don't have that connection to culture, there's no feeling of being. to help our community be connected to culture, to thrive and to grow. In order for us to be healthy, we need to first take care of the land that sustains us and have that connection. And getting back to that indigenous wisdom, that is a key to allow our community to sustain itself. It's important to get out and partner with community, get out and understand the issues and have our community partner with us to tell us what they need. For Marquez, he's just looking at how he can best support community. What gets Marquez all excited about is when you're taking care of somebody, you're really taking care of their family and their land and their community and everything. And I think he looks at things in that bigger picture. He's also a part of a number of groups, so he spends time on the weekends to go out and participate in events. He also takes his family out, so it's his wife Anella, his kids, uh, his parents, and so it's really a, a family effort. The way he approaches his medical practice speaks to caring, and the reason he does things is for a greater good, but he's not pursuing it for the sake of goodness. He enjoys seeing other people get better. People just come to him just because of who he is and his character. It doesn't surprise me what he has accomplished in his young life. I remember when he became a third year medical student, he won an award so other people could already see that he was grounded in his culture and his people. He surrounds himself with his friends and family and the people who allow him to grow and develop himself. He's led the Pride Doc student mentoring of indigenous healers from all over the world. And he's already been the chief at Nani Kiola Clinic. We're looking to have him transfer to lead this new West Oahu Medical Office building. There's a large concentration of Hawaiians on the West Oahu side, as well as in the new Kapolei area. The West Oahu Medical Office building was built with the idea of creating an oasis for patients and the community to come and be a place of healing for the community. Marcus is definitely connected to the Hawaiian community within the area. They see a smart, compassionate, humble physician. They see him as a visionary and as a really great leader and really a man behind his word. He would probably say, I'm not a community leader, I am a community member because he's so humble that communities and patients want to engage with him. And so how can we continue to build the next generation of health professionals that is engaged in community? He mentored me when I was a medical student and really inspired me to want to do primary care and to hopefully strive to be a practicing physician like him. For me, mentorship is so vital for us. It's a part of our kuleana. It's a part of our responsibility to inspire the next generation to do what's right. I wouldn't be the person I am, the father, the husband, the physician I am, without the great mentorship that I've had throughout my career. 
if I had one purpose, it would be to be a good ancestor. And being a good ancestor means paving the path for our next generation, doing what's right for our community, and by doing so, that's how we will perpetuate this cycle of creating better health for all of us.